Right, welcome back. Last time we left off at our lovely oasis, and I've got some good news. I got the new Zelda yesterday. Oh, actually, no, the day before yesterday. I got the actual 3DS XL model, well, the um, console that comes with the game. Because back along, I got my, my second 3DS, like, a couple days before the XL got announced, which is pretty bad. But here, if we pull out this deed, remember the deed we got? And we show it to this door. Ah, oh, unclean. Most foul. Don't lay those grungy hands. Wait. That. Why, that's... Are you the new master? Are you Master Ryan? I'm so pleased to hear that name. Master Ryan. Please be gentle on this fine door. Oh god, he's, he's given us some love. But yeah, this is our cabana. Our little house on the sea. And look how lovely it is. It's great. We've got a creepy man on the door, though. And um, this is one of the things I won't be doing. It's like a tile puzzle that rewards you money, and I think there's ten different ones. But I hate these things. God damn, hate them. They're the worst. Here we go. We got a silhouette of this guy. A little cardboard cutout, and there's the picture that it's meant to be. And you got a maid. And it's pretty random, really. But um, first of all, we'll pull out this, and then can we actually use arrows in here? I don't think we can. But I believe if we can break these, they're full of lots of money. Here they are. Look at all that money. I don't think we'll be able to get it all, which is a bit annoying. But, if you look, Link's looking up at the ceiling. He sees something, and there's actually this. We haven't seen one of these in ages, and we swing on it. And it puts out the fire. The fire is gone. But yeah, this is why I didn't come in here before. Is Well, not because of that, because down here, we need the skull hammer, and we have it now, so it's all good. But yeah, Link Between Worlds. It is pretty damn amazing. If, if you grew up with Link to the Past, you will appreciate it more than anyone. It is oh, it's truly amazing. Like my first impressions of it, when you first get, well, get playing it, it's just like so buttery smooth to like run around. And I, well, I, I did expect it, but I didn't expect it because obviously, the old 2D Zelda's work on like a tile set, like more. But this one doesn't feel like that at all. But it, it's also good because you could. I can think about all the remake stuff they could do. Like they could potentially remake the first Zelda. They could even do Link's Awakening, which is my fit, my first Zelda game, and I'd love to see that. I don't actually know where we're going. I don't think we're going the right way. But I would like to talk about the 3DS. But the XL is so much better. The people that like have got normal ones, they are, they definitely are worth the upgrade. Especially the Zelda one. It's gold. How can you argue with that? What way did we actually go? I, I. I don't know if we even meant to be in here. But anyway, this this down here is a maze of sorts. Can we actually go this this way? I can hear something lurking on us, I think. We've actually got quite a few hearts already. I don't think we'll get a heart down here. I think we're going to start getting more of the treasure charts and Triforce charts, to be honest. But where am I going? I don't think this is actually what I'm meant to be doing. I'm just crawling around in a tight space. Yeah, this looks like back at the beginning now. Please don't be. Don't be back at... Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is why we need the skull hammer. So if I pull that out, we can hit these down. And it opens these little gates. And then we can try and manoeuvre our way around a bit better. So what, what have we got? What's down here? Oh, another thing. I know you have to crawl around some of it, but oh, I just don't know what bloody way to go. I'm the best. The best around. But yeah, link, link Between Worlds feels so much like Link to the Past, because obviously it's in the same world and like the same kind of characters. It's set like 300 years in the future, I believe, from that point. Got a little bit of water there. And um, this is very familiar, but at the same time, it's nice to see the changes they've made. Because like you go to a p one place expecting it to be one thing, and it's just completely different. But I'm only at about I've got to the like Dark World equivalent, and I'm on like the second dungeon there, I believe. It's so good though. Definitely give it a go. Um, what way? I think we got to drop down here now. I think there's Redead somewhere, and here they are. Talk of the devils. Let's kill him. Can we actually kill? Oh, look at that! Hammer to the face! We've got some money. 
Yeah, sorry if I sound a bit bunged up. It's, the weather's just so cold. The winter is settling in. And it's soon Christmas. It's like a month until Christmas Eve. Where the hell is this year gone? It's mental. It is mental. And I don't know why, but I was going to pick up Mario 3D World. But in the UK, that's coming out um, next Friday. It didn't actually come out alongside Link Between Worlds. Which is a bit annoying, but oh well. I will definitely be getting that. That looks really fun. Right, what's up here? Ah, here we go, we're at the end. So this is what, what we went through the maze for. So get on this. Play the Winds Requiem. Come on, let's do it. Take your time. But I believe this is actually a Triforce Shard. Or it could actually be another um, Triforce Chart. Hopefully it's a Shard, because then I get to show that off. What's it look like? What's it like? What's it do? Let's have a look. And it is! You got a Triforce Shard. You need seven more shards to form a complete Triforce. And there we go, very nice. So we have our first piece. And we got two charts, I think, haven't we? Or just the one. Um, right, let's just get the hell out of here. Is it this way? No. I think it's back this way. Um, quickly, Link. Yeah, there we go. The Beam of Light. But yeah, this is the only thing we're going to really be doing with the cabana. I might try and do those tile puzzles at some point, but don't expect me to because I fucking hate them. Oh, more money! I won't say no to more money. There we go. It's quite a bit. And has this respawned up here? I doubt it. Yeah, don't think it has. Alright, let's get on out. Right, there we go. So we actually got a piece of the Triforce. Holy shit. Well, um, off screen, I'll just quickly show you something. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, you got to play it in your boat, don't you? <laughs> right, so yeah, off screen, I actually filled in the entirety of the map. Very nice looking, isn't it? It actually looks nice. One annoying thing that always annoyed me slightly, it's only a little nitpick, but you can't actually see every island from a glance. I suppose because some of them are too small. But anyway, we are going to go to Great Fish, and then we're going to go north one space to Rock Spire. We're going to get that sorted out, I think, today. Because that, that um, cabana didn't take as long as I expected. Which is quite nice. Here we are at Great Fish. In fact, should we try trading our flower? Nah, fuck that. We're not doing any of the trade stuff yet. That will be one video. One video, one day. It'll probably be pretty soon, to be honest. So yeah, we got Triforce Chart 1 and Triforce Chart 3. And also, when I was sailing around at the speed of sound to get the, um... <clears throat> to get the isle... The islands filled in, sorry. Um, I actually come across loads of treasures, like, out at sea. I didn't get them. But I know where a lot of them are on the islands now. Because we've actually got 25 of the charts already. I think there's 46 to get. But a lot of them we'll be getting in bulk. So yeah, I believe this is Rock Spire. Yeah, it is. So if we can find the actual island. Because remember, this is where this special beetle is. So if we can find special beetle, we have more than enough to buy the last two items off of them. I think I actually did... Ah, oh, there we go. Talking of treasure, there's a bit there. So shall we try and get... This treasure. The sound's really quiet, so oh, we got it anyway. That's pretty good. What is it? I don't think it's heart. I think it maybe a chart or money. Either or will be pretty nice. Oh, it's a piece of. It is a piece of heart. Okay. We won't say no. So what is this? We can get a chart and a heart in here, can't we? I think it's a chart and a heart. And bombs if we want them, but we don't want bombs. We already bought the bottle, so I think this is 950. Yeah, 950. We we'll buy that, get that off his hands. There's two pieces of heart already, and then we'll buy this chart. And I think that's yeah, 900. Not too bad. I don't believe he restocks on anything good. He'll just have like regular items in here. But there you go. Still got about 500 rupees, just short. That's not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, is it? Rock Spire, where you want to destroy. Look for boats on the horizon. Because I think you get another piece of heart for destroying things. In fact, they're out here, aren't they? Yeah, for some reason, I think there is three. 
piece of hearts around this. You just destroy one of these two boats. I'll get both of them anyway. And I believe one of them drops a piece of heart. I could be wrong. It could be a chart. Let's have a look. What are you doing? Shoot you. Well. Right. So did we get lucky? I think... Is it this one or is it the other one? I think they both, yeah, they both dropped something. What is it? I need to know. Give me a chance to see. And it is another piece of heart. So that was free <laughs> on like one island in a matter of no time. But yeah, while we're here, we'll actually step foot onto Rockspire. In fact, what's this other treasure? Is it anything decent? Oh, an orange rupee. That That is actually pretty worth our time. Right, so let's go on over to Rockspire. We got our bombs out ready, and I believe there's a grotto on this island that we can actually clear out and maybe get a chart or something. I forget what it actually is. That's considering we haven't actually done it. I don't think we have. Right, let's get out. And let's swim our way over. Quick. And there we go. Right, so here you want to hold out the bombs and throw them at the right minute. This could actually be bad, because I haven't got sound. There we go. I've got one. I have a tendency to kill myself here by throwing it and that bounces off and kills me. There we go. Doing alright so far. Not too bad. Oh, that went a lot better than my last time trying to do it. Right, so there we go. What's this sign say? To reach western... Oh, we don't need that. What is down here? I think this is a room full of bats, if I'm not... Oh, keys, sorry, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it wants us to light these candles. Not candles, torches. Bloody great candles. Let's get that. And that, yep, it is full of keys. This is the one I was thinking of. Right, get away. I didn't want to actually pick up the thing again. Shoot him in the face! Right, you don't actually want to stand in that light, Ryan, because otherwise we'd be zipped away to the other land. But yeah, and going back to Link Between Worlds, I know it's a bit scattered everywhere, but um, the painting mechanic where you can go on the wall is so good. Like for dungeons and everything, it, it makes you rethink about a lot of things. It's been done a lot better than I expected it, put it that way. Anyway, I'll stop I'll stop going on about that game. I don't want to put spoilers in here. But to be honest, that like there's nothing spoilery at the moment anyway. It's pretty much your standard fare. Oh we got a treasure chart. Sweet. Very nice. Alright, what time are we up to? I think we're gonna have to leave it off in a bit. Cause I think next time we're gonna go get more more of the um more of the charts. The Triforce charts that is. Where's my boat? Bought. I don't think he's... Oh, I just missed a blue chew. I saw it just after I jumped down. Right. Let's try and blow up this rock. Because I think there's 20 rupees in here. And there is. There we go. 20 rupees. And we got a bottle. Stunning likeness, eh? And it's a picture of the two links down in Hyrule Castle. Oh, very nice. Um. So what now? anything that we can do super quick I suppose we could sail sail to the right or the east and we'll end up at Tingle Isle remember Tingle that we saved and he's he's the one that actually deciphers our charts for us the um, Triforce charts so I think we're gonna go there and get one decipher just to show how it works but um, Link you're not supposed to stop sailing but yeah, we'll get one decipher just to show how that works, but in the long run you're going to need at least, like, a thousand for this game. It's even more in the, the GameCube one, because every... You didn't actually get any of the shards straight up, it was the charts. And then you had to get them deciphered, then you had to go looking for the shard. A lot of people say it was really tedious, but as long as you split it up in such a way, it wasn't too bad. Obviously, there's a pain in the ass to have to pay Tingle a lot of money. Right, is there any, um 
treasure. No, I don't see any treasure. I'll be getting all the, the treasure as I see it on camera now. Right, so let's get out here. We've got another bottle. Good morning. I don't care. It's not morning. Well, it is, technically. It's just passed into the afternoon. So, if we climb up this tower, this tingle tower, and actually... No, we don't need to pull anything out. We do it automatically. Look at that moblin head. How, how creepy. Oh, look. There's other tingles up here. We've got a pink one. Um, you have a tingle bottle, do you not? Uh... No, if you're not really a fan of it, do not worry about such things. The tingle bottle, it is sort of complicated, I, susp I suppose. No, 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 do not go out of your way, no, really. I mean, it's quite amusing, the tingle bottle. I mean, but no, really, I would not expect you to. Right, he, he's really confusing me, and I had to sneeze, like, halfway through that, I apologise. What's the white one say? Heave ho! Oh, this is heavy. This is just between me and you. But this, this guy has another brother. If that guy could just spin this thing instead of me. Heave ho. He has another brother. Well, there was skulls in his bloody prison. He probably killed him. Oh, Mr. Fairy. I've been waiting long to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? No. Hmm. That fragrant, musky scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. So, yeah, he... We'll give him a 398 rupees for each one you want to decipher. And we'll go, sure. Do it. Do it for me. And then they go, tingle, tingle. Kalu, limpa. Do all this dance and shit. Become readable. And there we go. You have to, you have got your chart deciphered. Now you mo you mail the bam bam. You now you'll be able to find the piece of the Triforce. And we got another one, but I can't. No, I don't have enough money. I just wanted to show what you did, tingle. Show the world what you, what good you can be. Right, but well, there we go. So next time, I think we're going to head off to... I've got it jotted down somewhere. Bird, Bird Rock's Peak. And then, after that, we'll probably go to Spectacle Isle. Like, we went there ages ago to get a piece of heart, but the guy wasn't actually open. Oh, Blue Chew! I will take you, and I will put you in my spoils bag. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, there we go. So yeah, next time, we'll get some more trifle shards. Maybe some more, sh uh, more charts and more hearts. And then, in a couple episodes' time, we'll start getting to the next temple. So yeah, thank you for watching, and until next time.